going to drink some potentially delicious cider geist. Which is like poltergeist in a yeah. can. So if I if I open this up and like try, try to take a drink and get sucked into the can. Lead me to the light, Carol. Just, uh, that's it. So let's see. I, I want to talk about this mask, man. Okay, here's ah. the thing. Which, by the way, could make or break a Halloween movie. And I agree. As we found out. But I'm going to pull up some pictures here. Let's look at the comparison. Oh, it's tart. Is... <laughs> you all right, buddy? Yeah. You good? You're drinking on the job. <laughs> that's again. Right. So am I. So that's a, that's okay. a tall boy there. That is. That's pretty tall. Um, look at this. Okay, 78, 2018. Me and my dad had this argument because he goes, are okay. they using the Captain Kirk mask? My dad's a huge Star Trek fan, not necessarily a Halloween fan. Eh, but it still kind of plays into the, the whole thing. It though, does. Man. I mean, hey, Captain Kirk is Did Michael you Myers. know that William Shatner went trick-or-treating dressed as Michael Myers with that mask on? Took his granddaughter trick-or-treating. He thought picture. it was hilarious That's and awesome. he did it. Yeah, and he, awesome. he was talking about an interview. Well, let's be honest. It's the same mask. Here's Captain Kirk in 1978. Here's... Captain Kirk in 2018, and it aged just like just like William Shatner. Exactly. It actually kind of looks like old William Shatner. It kind of does. Just it, not it's, quite yeah, as. Yeah. It doesn't have like the the uh, eyebrows so much stand right. out on that one. But but dude, here's the thing. A lot of people are bitching about the mask already. Let's be I, honest. I have heard the complaints. I've let's, had complaints. I've heard good things. Let's be honest. The, the the main one that I heard that I was not a fan of was that it looks just like Rob Zombie's Halloween mask. It looks nothing. It looks nothing. First of all, nothing like Rob, Rob Zombie's, Zombie's Halloween mask had like by the time the second movie was <laughs> came around, had a giant. Was it was like it was gone. Like, you, can, you can see Tyler Mead's face. Yeah, his beard was sticking out. Uh, he didn't yeah. wear the mask. That was him. redneck Michael Myers. Exactly. Yeah. That looks nothing no. like Rob Zombie's. Halloween Honestly, mask. this looks like the original mask age. Like they did. It looks okay. like the original mask. Let me, let me tell you a quick story. I have the original one that they made from years ago. I was, I think, 10 years old when my mom got this for me, okay? Scared the shit out of me with it one night. She, no, this is no joke. Scared that dude traumatized the shit out of me. Who walked in, Michael Myers standing there? Yeah, dude, there. in coveralls and a knife. Oh, she did the whole get up? And the fucking mask. Shared Your mother shit. put all of this yes. on. Yes, my awesome. little short ass mom who looked to be uh, fucking uh, six uh, feet tall that day. Well, you put that stuff scared on. Scared the shit out of me, okay? Um, here's the thing, man. Uh, I have that mask still. Does it look anything like it remotely did when I got it? When I was ten, is that the one you had no. on the on the on the the, the, the life size mannequin you had? Yeah. Oh yeah. It now look like... at the difference, dude. Uh, I was ten. I'm gonna be forty yeah. in October. Yeah. Okay, we're talking what thirty years? Yeah. Nothing is gonna no. look the same. It doesn't. No. It's gonna it's gonna start the hair. Number one, he looks like he's bald at the top. Okay. Right. The mask itself is gonna turn colors. Right. They did a good job with this because forty years later. It's not going to look like this. No, and again, the only way you could avoid the mask not looking weathered is if you did a whole scene where he got a new mask right. and blah, blah, and, and it's right. been done. Right. Uh, but, but for this one, though, the no. fact that it's the same mask right. 40 years This later. is a different Michael. This yes. is a Michael that once... It's his, like the scene where he pulls the mask off. Out. Mm -hmm. There is something about that specific mask, oh, yeah. not that specific style of mask, no. but the it's mask, mask. Yeah. it's the same one that he wore 40 years ago, mm -hmm. I know it's not really the same one that he wore 40 years right. ago, but, but in the movie it's the same one, it's the authentic that he wore 40 years ago, yep. and that's where it's important, and this mask is scary as hell, I don't no, care I, what I, you yeah, say. Absolutely, I think that's creepy as shit. Yeah. I mean, does it look the same as the original? No. No, but, but it's not going to. Though. But it, it looks very similar. The, right. the, you know, it looks like it could be the same mask. Absolutely. Now, I think, and this is just me, there's some scenes, because you touched on this and you make absolute sense, that the mask looks different in every shot. It does. And it's going to. Lighting's going to be different. Yeah. Everything. And that's the way the original masks were. Here's the Halloween 2 mask. Okay, this is from 1980. Which is ironically the same... Mask is yeah. in the first one. It's just stained with cig cigarettes. And now this is the thing, though. People didn't bitch about the appearance of that no. one. And that was supposed to be the same night. Why are you bitching about the appearance of yeah. a mask? You know, years the later? problem I think is is if the zombie movies were never made, this wouldn't be a discussion. No, I don't think so either. It's only because uh, people have a bad taste left in their yeah. mouth, and they are saying that Look, this let's is. Let's be honest. Best. He pissed a lot of people off. Oh, he okay. pissed John Carpenter off. Uh, <laughs> it know? took me three times to see the. The first one, right? And actually watch it for what it was, and not right. sit there and go, "This fucking was terrible," because it's not. Right. And, and, and I'm kind of at that point too. Like I have to watch it again 
Um, and I plan on watching it again. And, and maybe we could do something later on yeah. and, and, and touch on it. I feel like I need to watch it again as you have. Because while there are moments in the movies mm-hmm. that I think like he had some good ideas. Yeah. Um, first of all, I'll admit Rob Zombie is not my favorite director. I, I, okay. he's, he's got a style that let, I just... Let me, let me say this real quick, though. I, I appreciate the backstory. Albeit yeah. very foul yeah. and very white trashy. It's yeah. It was, it was do, do we need a backstory on Michael Myers? Absolutely not. Right. Absolutely not. Do we get little bits of it throughout uh the whole franchise of the original Halloween right. series? Yeah, it we got it all the time. But do we need a white trash fuck you, fuck this, fuck that right. version of him? No, we didn't. But he gave us that. But my problem was as soon as it went into the remake aspect, it went like this. Well, it when it got quick. right, the, the the meat and potatoes of what Halloween is, which is yeah. that night, yeah. him stalking the babysitters, it was... Everything happened. I as well, I, I was excited about the backstory. Yep. Yeah. Let's be honest, the movie wasn't long enough to fit all that in. No, it, it could have been and, easily and, a two and there were some interesting things about... I also didn't care for a seven-foot Michael Myers. Because, mm-hmm. um, again, the thing that always scared me about Michael Myers is he's a guy about my size. He's an everyday person. He's an everyday guy. Yeah. And it could happen. It has happened. <laughs> Dude, I've had you debates know? with people. There's people in life that are scared of uh, ghosts, demons, yeah. stuff like that. My comparison with a friend of mine was this. You can think Linda Blair is scary. And that the whole exorcist thing could happen to a real person. I, on the other hand, said, any average everyday person, you can put on that mask. Yeah. Pair of coveralls. And start killing people tomorrow. Yeah. All I, yeah, it could happen. Before it you're going to lay in a bed possessed, spitting up green shit. Right. And, and, this and, is and, more scary to me. And I'm not, and I don't want to jump down anybody. Here, I'm going to go a step further. If you put Linda Blair in one room, right. in real life Michael Myers in another room, and I have nowhere else to go. Listen, I'm going to go in there. I'm going to Linda Blair's yes. room. Yes. And please don't puke on me. Please no. don't possess me. No. But listen, Michael Myers is in the other room. Yes. And that bitch is probably going to hop up off the bed and run too. <laughs> yeah. I will walk into that room, and on speed dial, we'll have an old priest and a young priest. <laughs> and I'm going to go in there knowing I'm going to go in there and do it. <laughs> right. I walk in a room with him. I'm not coming out of that room. You're not coming out. There's a big no. difference. No. <laughs> but listen, this mask to me again, if you're gonna bitch about the the new one, then you gotta bitch about Halloween too because it's dirty. Yeah. But And that was the same night. It broke continuity right there. Look about it. The man went through storyline wise, an hour and a half of a movie. Right. Of course the mask is gonna look fucked. He's gonna look dirty. He, he got, got shot. shot. He yeah, fell exactly. out of one. He probably didn't get no. right back up. He probably crawled away from which I wanna talk about that when we get to theories, but Oh yeah. And now, this one. There's the man right there, Dick Warlock. Dick Warlock, who, again, I still say the man played a great Michael Myers. You can debate that all you want to. And actually, uh, I've seen interviews with a guy. You've met him, correct? I did. He Uh, seems like a sweet guy. One of the nicest people you ever meet. He actually was the first Michael Myers I ever met. And this is, I'll put myself out there. Uh, Again, my mom scared the shit out of me. That traumatized me for a lot of years, let me tell you. I met him at a convention. The man, I I met this little old guy. And I was like, wait, this is Michael Myers? (laughs) to myself, why the fuck am I scared of that? Right. It's just this little old guy, one of the nicest people you ever meet, man. And just hard to believe he actually played a fucking psycho killer. Psycho killer, you know? one of the most prolific yeah. serial killers of all time. But dude, and you look at this one, <coughs> I thought this was awesome. Oh, that is a, that. That's that is, dude, I'll tell you what, these guys are, are on Instagram, we give them a plug later in the show, man. Uh, follow Michael Myers on Instagram, follow Halloween H4, uh, H40 on Instagram. These guys put up some great fucking pictures. But this is a comparison of 2018 and 78, and dude, they fit together, man. Yeah, I mean, it's the, the again the attention to detail yeah. that these guys did. I mean, I mean, it's, it's just it's, it's almost perfect. The man. cheeks, the cheeks are always to me the make or break part yeah. of the mask, you know. And this is the up close version. So now tell me you're not going to shit yourself if you see that guy coming after exactly. you wearing that mask. I don't give a shit how beat up, whether it is. It's 40 years later. Right. We don't know where that mask has been. Right. We don't know who has that. Who's had that mask over the years? No. Obviously he we got. We have our theories. Well, right. <laughs> Obviously he's got he got picked up. Yeah. Okay, the whole ending changed. So yeah. he got shot. He fell off the balcony. I assume he crawled away. and yeah. got picked up. And got picked up. That mask has been in what? Uh, the evidence lockers, whatever oh, the hell it yeah. is. They're not going to take care of that thing. They don't give a shit. No. Uh, but the the fact that the man has one eye because he got stabbed in the eye with a hanger in Halloween '78. They're not missing a beat. Attention to detail, yeah. man. It's very important. I mean, it's just, dude. I love this picture. I, do too. I love this picture I do too. because uh, this is almost a her- heroic portrayal of Myers. 
Yeah, I, I mean, mean isn't it? Because he's yeah. he's back. Like yep. it's one of the first pictures they actually. Actually, I believe this is the shot on that uh, yeah, post when he when he puts uh, not, I, yeah right when he puts the mask on he goes up. It comes up. Yep, yep. To yep. me, that is like that's a hero's welcoming. I'm oh, telling you, right. he is the hero in these movies. Uh, he's like an unspoken like hero. And in this one, to me, again, I, you said the mask changes in each shot. Yeah, I think in this shot from 2018, it looks a lot like Dick Warlock's Halloween too. And Dude, I, I want to point out, he looks with the angrier. Color. Yeah. He looks angrier. Well, think Michael it, seems angry. Think about it, dude. You've been sitting for 40 years. Yeah, he's pissed. Yeah, he ain't happy. No. He's coming to get your ass. With the you know? teeth and all that dropping the teeth. Exactly. Like, that's not even something that 1978 no. Michael no. does. So no. he's got a lot of pent-up aggression. Exactly. So we're going to see something. Which, if you think about that scene, though, uh, when he goes into the uh, bathroom and the girl's in there, a lot of, real close to the Halloween uh, H2O. Scene. I was going to say, a lot of throwback to H2O the and, the, and the girl, yeah. Yep. But I think, to me, though, that's a lot like Dick Warlock. I'll tell you why. Look at the collar. Collars and just, up. Just, just look at the mask itself. It's more that shot than this one. This one up here, it does look like a lot like Dick Warlock. And he's got kind of a slick, yeah. more of the yeah. slick, whereas the original uh, Michael Myers hair looked like my hair, mm -hmm. where it's kind of like, I've seen <laughs> shadows of myself and jump back because I got the hair. <laughs> Get that Michael Myers hair. I got the hair. same Michael Myers hair. Do we got a lot more to talk about, so we're going to take a break. A couple minutes. And then we we'll got right theories back. coming up. Oh, yeah. I can't wait for that. That's amazing. All right, and we are back. We are here with our final segment. Unfortunately, it's our final segment because I feel like uh, we could go forever this on this stuff. Man, we could do well, this Listen, all day. there will okay. be another Halloween episode at there some point in time. We there, we well, haven't even covered the other especially movies. Especially after this movie comes out. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're going to do we're gonna do timelines. Yeah. We'll talk about the remakes. But let's not get too off track here because we want to talk about theories. Before we get started, um, uh, they when they were filming the movie... Um, <laughs> what moment did they come up again? <laughs> Whenever, Is it Agent of, Orange? No, no. <laughs> a lot of times when they film movies and they don't want people to like they wander do. on set and, and they don't want to really get the word out right away, uh, they come up with like this secret code name. And for this one, it was called Uncle Orange. <laughs> Dude, Everybody what, thought they were making the a world, movie about Donald Trump. What, right? What the fuck do you think in your head? You you think Uncle Orange? That, that does not scream Michael Myers at all, which is perfect because you don't want right. people to know what the hell you're doing. No. So it's great. But dude, I, I got some theories, man. Yeah. I got some theories. Sophie's got a few theories too. She's got a few. She barked in on that one. Uh, but I got some theories, dude. Uh, the first one, I, I got to talk about this guy here, who clearly this dumb bastard who yeah. Arguably kicks this whole thing if, off by going in and antagonizing the psycho. This, if this isn't the the definition of poking the bear, oh, why would I you don't know what yeah. is? I remember okay. watching the trailer. It, it, me and my dad watched. The trailer. <laughs> of course, I made my dad, who's not a Halloween fan. I made my dad watch the trailer, and he were watching. And he goes, "Well, why the hell would you do that?" <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Which is a good point. Why would you do that? All right. No. Here's the thing, man. Well, we're gonna see. Maybe this is why he does it. He's got a British accent. Number yeah. one. Who else has a British accent in the Halloween series? For 15 years! Exactly. I watched. Dr. Loomis. Yeah. Uh, where do you get the mask from? Now, okay, I get it. Him and his partner, whoever she may be, are investigating yeah. Michael Myers. But why'd you wait 40 years to do so? Yeah. My question is, I don't want to say he's a son because I think he looks too young to be Loomis' son. Because He's let's related face it, in some way. If Loomis was still alive, he'd be over 100 years old. Right. Okay, so I think this is a grandson. Or they might flip the script and that girl may be related. Who knows? Could be. Here's the thing, too. Like, I just thought about this. As much as Lori has spent the last 40 years being obsessed with Michael Myers, yeah. uh, regardless of what timeline you're looking at, knowing what we know about Loomis, yeah. uh, Dr. Loomis is obsessed with Michael Myers. Absolutely. Even after he was locked up, I'm sure Dr. Loomis would talk to his children, his grandchildren, yes. uh, the paper boy, uh, yeah. a random sports call-in well, show. Uh, and not even to jump timelines, but look at uh, Halloween H2O. Yeah. The beginning of that, when they went to his uh, they were He, his, he his had plastered all over everywhere. his... Yeah, everywhere. So this dude has every one of those yeah. things on file, and, including and, a, a yeah. sketch of Dr. Lewis. And who, who would have the authority in the pool to get a hold of the mask? Exactly. The psychiatrist, the acting psychiatrist... Yeah. Now, a lot of people are saying there's a scene where he's talking, I, I believe, to Jamie Lee Curtis at this point, but where actually I think he's talking to the girl that he's with, and he says, and he was shot by his psychiatrist, so they would say, well, why didn't you just say my dad? Because maybe they don't want to give everything away in the trailer, everybody. Right? Right. right. If you're making a movie, you got to be yeah. professional and all right. that. You know, you, you wouldn't, don't want to give one like everybody. drink. You don't want to drink poor guys. Right. I don't know why I'm so It's sour. <laughs> it, it looks terrible, dude. 
Um, my theory is they are definitely in some way related. I don't know what. I, I don't. I don't know if it's a grandson, a nephew, something. They are related in some way. I think it's a good theory. Uh, yeah, I, I, I think that that would just put that nice little Loomis touch in the yeah. in the movie where he's not going to be in. Yeah. All right. And you got to do that. You I have to. You, got to. you have to. You have to. They're not going to just cut Loomis out of the movie. You There's can't. going to be this one. I love this. This one. Okay. Now, if your mom is, we'll say, sixty years old, so she's roughly in her forties. So that's you know, Lori's daughter. That's Judy Greer, right? Playing Lori's daughter. The man next to her, clearly an older man. I don't think she'd be dating this guy. Right. Okay. So my exactly. question is: Is this Lori's ex? And if so. Father of her children. Is it Ben Tramer from Halloween 1? Now, keep in mind, a lot of you might do what I did and immediately jump to, well, Ben Tramer's dead. He got right. it. No, he's not. Because Halloween 2 is, not. is no longer in the continuity. So Ben Tramer is very much alive and well, we assume. I mean, you would think. You would think. There's, I mean, it's... There's, Michael didn't kill him. No. Loomis didn't kill him. Nope. So Ben Tramer, so that, it makes... Dick Warlock it... dressed as a police officer driving a police car didn't kill him either. Right. You know, hey, right. That didn't happen. You know, so yeah, no, I think that it's been, I think that actually that might be the, probably the most accurate prediction you could make. I do, do believe I, that that's been trained. Tell me, it wouldn't just be a fun little throw. It would make sense. Seriously, it would make sense. The Which, only other thing you could do is you could say he's Jimmy the Ambulance guy, but again, that character doesn't it doesn't it necessarily exist. Yeah, it doesn't exist. Exactly. It's not as good. No. We know she liked Ben Tramer, right? Uh, we know that her friends that's, were setting up a date with Ben. That's Tramer. all we knew. That's all right. we knew. So it, it, it stands to reason that that's who that is. Absolutely. All right, we touched on that. 